Rust. What comes to mind when you hear this word? Decay? Neglect? Tetanus? Well, to me it means miracles, emotions, gains, losses, and endless possibilities. My name is Clutch Poppington, and I would like to welcome you to Rust. Rust is a place laden with beauty from all rich tundras that stretch as far as the eye can see to soft, warm, inviting forests. Animal riddled plains, life providing rivers to winding roads of history's past. Even the depths have many mysteries hidden below them. And of course, the jaw-dropping mountain views. In this documentary series, we're going to be diving into the food chain of these beautiful landscapes, starting where everyone's journey does, at the bottom with a rock. Spawn Beach, a sandy miracle that relentlessly generates new wood for the fire. And if we wait patiently, we may be lucky and witness a miracle. There it is. Are you seeing this? Here we have the miraculous materialization of flesh, bone, and determination. What appears to be a sleeping body will soon wake from its slumber and burst into life. And it's alive. Look at that, the miracle of nature. Naked at the start of the spawning season, often referred to as Y, can be seen in numbers breaching the hundreds. And we today are the lucky ones as we attempt to follow this naked as she makes her way, way inland to seek natural resources. We will be using state-of-the-art drone technology to capture shots of the naked like no one has ever been able to before. With his first source of progression in sight, the naked timidly approaches the tree and begins to relentlessly swing away. Quickly its natural farming ability kicks in as it easily detects the weakest parts of the tree and is able to farm it even quicker and more efficiently. As the deafening crash of the tree meeting the ground indicate the naked's farming victory, it excitedly approaches the next tree with an eager attitude. But alas, little does this naked know that predators have heard this and taken an interest. Content with the thwax of its own progress, the naked is unaware that its time is rapidly approaching an end. The bow kid takes aim, and it looks like this naked will need to try again. Educated and infused, the naked spawns again, ready to put into practice the education of its mistakes. Knowing that its position is now compromised, the naked runs to seek out a safer place to continue its resource gathering. And what is this? The naked has found a formidable stone node and has taken interest. It begins by mounting the node and quickly taking in its surroundings. Now that it's aware the area is safe, it begins to swing away at the rock, reducing its size and collecting stone which it will be able to use at a later time. The sweet crashing sound of the crumbling node indicates that all that is valuable has been attained. With its crude sash filled, it moves on to seek a habitat to call its own. After searching for what seems like hours, and the sun rapidly approaching its climax of the day, Anne Naked has found a place for her to begin to build. She begins to lay the foundations of her future home, opting to go for a large space. Will her greed be her downfall? It appears her eyes are indeed bigger than her sash, and Anne Naked has run out of resources. 
They must once again farm if she wishes to secure her new incomplete home against the perils that await her. In a panic, she begins rapidly farming trees next to her home and upgrading her structures as possible, but her new farming burst has not gone unnoticed. Here we see Chadus Maximus, the alpha predator, top of the food chain, and this spells disaster for our poor unsuspecting naked. As the naked places the second to last wall, the Chad springs into action, releasing an unrelenting barrage of fire and instantly decimating the naked's flimsy protection. There is nothing the naked can do but look back and realize its inability to remember its previous teachings have led to this upsetting reset. Resilience and determination are the two leading skills that separate nakeds from the other wildlife, and as it bursts into the wilderness it thinks to itself, this time I will succeed. This time I... This time... This time I will suck. This time... I will succeed. With its door locked on its new modestly sized home, the naked has finally a place to call its own. And that is a good place to end its day. Thank you so much for joining us on this little adventure into the life of a naked. And I hope you join us next time as we follow this naked as it progresses its way through the food chain itself to hopefully one day become an apex predator. My name is Clutch Poppington and this has been my rustamentary. Thank you.